Hello there, my name's David Hurrian and we're going to talk about choosing the right topsoil if you're going to create beds and borders. Now if you've got some pre-existing soil in your garden then it shouldn't really be too much of an issue. There's nothing wrong in using the soil that you already have in your garden to create good quality soil for growing plants in. But the trouble comes when you've got a new garden which might have lots of rubble in it, it might be a new garden on a, on a new housing estate for example. This won't be the case every time, uh, you may actually have ended up with some decent topsoil and it shouldn't be a problem. But if you have got really rubbly conditions uh, then it might be worth digging it all out and starting again with something that is reliable and good quality. So if I was going to be planting up beds and borders with ornamentals, things like trees, shrubs and perennials, or if I was going to be planting up some permanent containers like planting this box bush into this large pot permanently, then I would choose the Rowlawn Beds and Borders mixture. This is a special formulation which they classify as being a loamy sand. The emphasis there being on the sand, which means that it maintains a good open, free draining and aerated structure to the topsoil so that the plants don't become waterlogged. Now the other big benefit of using Rowlawn topsoil is that um, they're all a standardised volume that you get in the bulk bag. So that means that you've got a known quantity which makes calculating how much you need a lot easier. So this is the beds and borders mix here. Uh, it does actually feel, if you rub your fingers through it, it does feel a little bit gritty, a little bit sandy when you rub it between your fingers and as I say that means that it's open and friable, it lets the water drain through it well, it means it always remains well aerated. Uh, not only has this got topsoil in it but it's also got organic material in it, uh, well decomposed organic matter uh, and it's also got some nutrients in it which will help to keep the plants going uh, for certainly the first year or so that you've got it in use. After that you'd need to look after it in the same way as you would any ordinary topsoil, any ordinary garden soil, by adding lots of organic matter to it regularly and also feeding if you need to boost a particular type of growth in a plant. So this is a really good material for planting up your beds and borders and as I say if you've got really rubbish topsoil you might find that replacing it with this will give you much better results.